Hey, welcome back. So let's complete our social website. Finally, we are on the verge of completion. All right, so let's see what we can do here because we're trying to change uh, the current uh, situation of a user. Okay, so in order to do this, let's go to our table here for a second so that we see what exactly we need to change so if i go to um, group members here for a second group members okay so right here where it says row this is where we need to change so we just need to find a record where the user id is correct and the group ID is correct. And then we change that from member to whatever was supplied there. Okay, so let's see how that can be accomplished. So first of all, we have to get the group uh, dot PHP page here, not the class, but just the file. And then if you notice, whenever we post something, uh, it's going to pass through this location right here. And this is the top part of the page where when you post something, it's going to pass through here. And then if you are saving settings, it's going to pass through here. So the important thing is to make sure that when we are trying to change the user, uh, <clears throat> the user situation there, we don't have any of these. We don't have this and we don't have any of that. Okay. So that's just what we need to check for so that it goes to the very specific uh, thing that we are trying to do. So in this case, for example, I can do a, uh, <clears throat> let's come back here for a second. If I come to this file right here, this one is group content members.php. So this is where we have that row, uh, that selector, which selects what we have actually changed our user to, uh, where we, we are allowed to change this user. Okay, so at this point, we know that we have a user ID being sent and we also have a row being sent. So if both of these are correct, if we have row and we have user ID right here, it means, uh, it means we are we are set so now the issue is the advantage of <clears throat> uh, if you can bear with me for a second here the thing is I can put another if statement here and check for these two things if row is set and user ID is set just like I'm checking for these other things then I would know that I have to do one of these but the problem is I'll have to add another if statement like that this one it's not really a problem but uh, just to keep that in mind whereas in this case the if statement already exists which checks if i'm actually an admin and then i can do things here so instead of going this way this route because the if statement is already there all i need to check for is if one of these post variables is set that's it so right here at the very top I'm going to do this and I'm going to check if one of the variables is set and then I will do an else statement right here as well. Okay, so what I will check for is if row is set. So let me check that. And also if uh, user ID is set. So post row and post user ID. So if both of those are set, then we are in business. It means uh, we did, we want to actually change the user there. And we don't need to check if we have access because this is already checking for that particular thing. Okay, so which is good. And then at this point, we still need to know the user that we have changed uh, things to. So. What I will do is, um, because this, oh, this is actually included right here. 
Okay, what I will do is just put an else statement here, like so, and then move this to the very end, like so, so that this only happens when I am being requested to select what level I want to change to. Like that. Uh, wait a minute. So this is uh, entirely up to you. You can uh, change the, um, the situation here and just have it update to whatever uh, the new one is. Or you can have it after you change and click save. It shows you that uh, the, the user has been changed to something else. That's entirely up to you. Now, if I click cancel here, it takes me back here. If I say click edit access on this one, then I come here. So I think in my opinion, maybe it's better to have it show us the current uh, situation here. Oh, wait a minute. Yeah. Okay, so let me come back here. Wait a second. So I think maybe all we need to do is change the situation here. So I will remove both of these. Okay. Now, what I need to do is to check what the current situation is of the user there. But before I do that, let's uh, submit here for a second. So in order to submit here, we have a few uh, functions that we need to create inside this group thing. So this group here, remove member. So that's exactly what we want to do. So I'm just going to copy that and put it here. But instead of remove member, we're going to say uh, edit member underscore access, like so. Okay, so edit member access, we have the group ID, we have the, oh, there we go. We have the edit access there, copy that and put it there because that's the user ID. So we have the user ID here and then we have the group ID there. So we are good to go here. The only thing we need to do now is edit the group class. So let's go to classes and group.php. So we're going to copy exactly what the other one has, which is remove member here, right? So because it's kind of similar. So right there, I'm going to duplicate this one. Uh -huh. Then change it to edit member access. Okay. So we have the user ID and the group ID. So here we update group members. Instead of setting disabled is equal to one, what we will do is set the row. So here we need to actually add that row over there. So let me come back here as well, because we need to know what the row is that this person, uh, the row we are giving them at this point. So I will copy that right there and put it here. Okay, so post row, get edit access, wait a minute. Okay, so that's correct. And what else, uh, group data user ID. Okay, so everything uh, else seems fine. So there's row there, and this is where we update members update users set owner is equal to one okay so now here uh, this should only okay this is actually not required here we don't need this part at all okay so here what we do is set row will be equal to whatever the row is at the time. And then we'll do this. So add slashes row as well. So let's change that to row. And we are good to go. We are user ID and group ID is equal to group ID. Okay, 
so pretty good this is all we actually needed okay so so far so good looking good yeah the only problem is we will not be able to have some feedback so let me show you what i mean so this one is a member of course now if i do moderator like that and hit save it will take me back here and still it's showing member there but if i go to my uh, thingy here you see that uh, moderator now so this one has been upgraded so we just need some feedback now so that we can know what exactly is going on there so so in order to do that let's create a uh, variable here called row and let's set it to admin because if we don't find the person in there it's very likely that they are actually an admin okay so what we will do is i'm going to uh wait a minute if i go to class here and i should have one that says get raw or something do i get requests get members uh where is that get my groups get group okay so it doesn't seem like there's any get row here but let's search i'm looking for the function remove member okay uh what else evaluate okay so we don't actually have one that gets us a row from a user so all we have to do is duplicate this one again so instead of uh, edit member we want to get let's say get member row like that and then row like this okay so here uh, we have to know the group ID we have to know the user ID and then it should return a row to us okay so at this top here I'm just going to say row is equal to uh, what row are they you know what we just write unknown like that if the row is unknown so here um, what I will do is say I do need this other query where is this this one right here so copy that and get member row paste that there okay and then down here I'll say return row whatever the row is at the time all right so we don't have row here yet so I'll remove that because we want it there so what I want to do here is a select uh, wait a minute wait a minute so this is going to be read not save we're just reading from here and then here we are saying data or result like that and also here same thing result okay so what I want here is to say select select row from group members okay so let me remove that set and I'll say where user ID and group ID is good to that and disabled is equal to zero so that is important let me come back here for a second and make sure yes so that is cool and then okay so we have that in the bag and then if we do find uh something here i would do an if statement if is array result like this okay so if we do find a result here let's return the row okay so i'm going to say return result 
now we're getting the first item the first result there and then we are getting the row like that okay and so we're going to do exactly the same thing here copy because if we don't return here we didn't find anything so then we're going to check in the users table if we do find it there then we'll return it there and then if we none of these actually work we're going to return unknown now if one is found here of course in the users table we don't need to return a row because there's no such thing in there anyway so we're just going to return admin at this point like that okay so here let's change the query as well let's say select uh let's just select the id because as long as a um a record is found then we know this person is the admin so select all from users where right there where user id is equal to group id is it no where the owner wait a minute so the group id is there and user id okay user id not really let me do this here create that this is the variable here and i'm going to say owner is equal to okay like that okay so very good there get member row copy that if i come back here now then i can do something like that so row is equal to uh no i don't need to put this admin here i would just say unknown unknown like that yes and then i will say do this here and then copy that from there and put it here the only thing i remove is the row i don't need that because that's what i'm trying to determine yes and what else here i will say row is equal to and then from this row right there i will put that as the first option here so i will duplicate that and put row over there but remember that these are single quotes on the outside so i need to step out of that and step back in like so okay so let's see what the does so refresh yeah i can resend it's not a big deal so saying call to undefined function get member row oh sorry that's my bad i need to use the group class over here the little things that we forget okay refresh resend so it's saying uh, undefined variable is array on line 116 in the classes where are we 116 sorry there my bad same thing there okay all right so one more try fingers crossed bam so now we can see moderator there so if i cancel this and then come back to another user let's say edit you see this member uh -huh. it's working if i click here i'll see admin right so that even when i change i know what i'm changing from and to like that so as you can see here it's saying moderator as well admin and member so we've successfully managed to change uh this one so if uh the only thing remaining now is to you to tell the user that when they have been made admin uh, or moderator they should be informed of this decision okay so that will be in the notifications area which we are going to do in the next video to complete this series see you then